Lol. Decided to pull out some sodas. Just messing around here. Fucking sodas, man. Up on his fucking toes. Still love these guys. I'm sick today. Oh. <laughs> I'm sick today. Watching some Netflix. You get Package. P.S. I have no idea what this is. So, you might never see this footage. Alright, guys. So, this was my secret Santa present from the ACBA secret Santa that we did um, about a month before Christmas time. Um, I think I did show my package that I sent out. Uh, but I had never gotten a package back. And um, I wasn't really bugging about it because the point was really to just give... Um, <clears throat> but uh, a little while back, about a two-ish week ago, someone was asking on the f group page, like, uh, who else didn't receive their Secret Santa? So then the leader of the Secret Santa, um, Ty Tyler, uh, he was, like, anyone else who didn't receive it, uh, message me and I'll see what, uh, what the problem is. Um, so then, now this shows up, so... I'm I'm pretty happy for it, and you did say sorry for the wait, um, or for the overdue gift, but uh, I'm still happy. Um, and it's the Marvel Legends Constrictor. Now I I mean I already have this guy, but I don't mind. Um, in fact, what I think I might do is I might open him up, swap him out with my Constrictor, just because this one's got like better paint apps, and then try and return him. I mean I know technically that's not right. But, uh, yeah. Because, I mean, Wave 1 is already, like, I mean, you could still probably sell it on eBay. But, I mean, like, if you want to trade it for things, it's already, like, old news. Um, so I might just return it as it is and be the nice person and not swap it out for mine. Um, but, yeah, this one's ankle. It doesn't seem to mess up. From the front, it doesn't really have any paint scuffs. Um, the back is harder to tell, um, but yeah, regardless, um, if you're watching this, big thanks, man, um, just happy to get something, so, yeah. Alright, so I did get Bucky Cap out of the packaging, and I'd like to start off by saying this is a really nice figure, um, it does have its flaw, I mean, every Marvel Legends figure, really every figure you're ever gonna own, will most likely have flaws, um, and this figure is not uh, different from those ones. Um, here we just got him with some of the figures that he's well comparable to. He is a bit shorter than Captain America. It doesn't seem like it on camera, but he is. He's also, well, when his head's all the way up, he's a bit taller than Bucky. Um, I think. Hang on. Now that I think about it, I feel like he's actually a bit... Nah, uh, he's a bit taller than Bucky. Yeah. Um... So yeah, let me just take Bucky out of there. And by Bucky, I mean Winter Soldier, of course. And Captain America, a.k.a. Steve Rogers. Alright, and then here is the Bucky Cap figure. Um, this is a really solid figure. Um, from Hasbro, that is. Uh, I think they did good. Um, it does, in some ways, remind me of Toy Biz. Um, especially on the metallic paint. Uh, the metallic paint did come out really nice. Um, the blues, the red... The white's a little bit lame, but um, that's okay. Uh, I do like the figure overall. I'm happy to have a Bucky Cap uh, figure made. It is nice. Um, Articulation is pretty nice too. Um, his head it does look all the way up. It does look really weird on the neck though. Um, it does look down pretty well. Um, rotates obviously, and you can get a little tiny bit of that like side to side motion that you get right there. Um, does have ball joints. It's got the ones where it covers up the joint so they could actually paint the star on. That's what they should have used on a Steve Rogers from Wave 1. Um, 
So he's got right, he's got ball joints, they're ratchety, um, bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, um, wrist rotates as well as a, uh, hinge. Um, unfortunately, uh, they did, uh, not paint the hinge. I wish that they could have molded it in red plastic. Even if it's not the same red, it would have worked better. Um, <clears throat> it does have an ab crunch. It's not the best. I mean, it goes down that far. It only really has one click in each direction. It goes back that far. But, um, it works. I mean, this is a brand new Hasbro mold. This mold, uh, none of the pieces have been used for any other figure. As far as I can tell, um, that is, uh, that's the case as far as I can tell. Um, he's got a waist swivel. Um, he's got the new Hasbro ball joints, which are like the MUs. They go forward, they go back a little bit. Um, they can also go in and out, obviously, and then they rotate at the upper thigh, and does look a bit off, um... Also, the ball joints are kind of hindered. They can't go out as much as you'd want them to because of the gun holster and then the knife holster on the other leg. It does have double jointed uh, knees. They are a they are a tad bit loose, and I feel like they bend a little bit too much. Not by a lot though. Rotate at the top of the boot. Um, ankle goes down and up. And then you got the brand new ankle pivot, which I like. Um, this is the first figure I've gotten in six inch form with this brand new ankle pivot. I think it's pretty good. Um, it's not great, um, in my opinion. It's just a little bit different, a little bit strange to get used to. So used to the Toy Biz version um, that Hasbro has been using as well. Um, but yeah, this guy's got really small. <laughs> my bad, guys. Um, but this guy's got really small feet. Um, just wanted to point that out. So he's a little bit harder to stand up. Um, not to mention that his legs, his uh, knees are a little bit loose. Um, the shield is a bit smaller than the shield that we've been getting from Toy Biz. It's a tiny bit smaller. I mean, it is a nice hard plastic, though. It does have the detail on the inside. No paint detail, but sculpt detail. It does have the peg to plug into his back, and it plugs in very nicely. Then you flip it up, and you got the clip, and it goes around the wrist very well. Like, it fits around perfectly, and it doesn't really warp anything. Um, another thing I'd like to quickly add... You can pop off the head very easily, um, and if you really wanted to, you could take this Bucky head, and I'm going to do it off camera. There we go. Just because I'm in the detail, and I want to be careful. Take the Bucky, hip, or the Bucky head and put it on. His neck is a tiny bit short, but um, it works. Um, I think Witch Wands was the first one to do this. Um, if I were you guys, if you guys have a shield agent, um, try that head, because when Bucky is in Bucky cap mode, he does have short, like really short hair, kind of similar to the shield agents. Um, I know this is going on for quite a minute, but uh, here's this knife, pretty nice knife, not really any detail, just black handle with uh, silver sculpting, or silver molded plastic. And we got a new pistol, I don't think they've used this in 6 inch before. Um, but yeah, this is a really nice figure. Um, belt does not close in the front, which it's not supposed to, so that's nice. Um, now. I would uh, suggest you guys pick it up. It's a good figure. Do not pass on him. Important for a lot of the modern stuff going on. No! My plans have been foiled! Um, so last week I told you guys that uh, my mom was going to be off this Friday from work so she'd be able to go in early in the morning right when the Toys R Us opens up and pick up the figures. Um... She was mistaken. She looked at her schedule today uh, to check on it, and she's actually off on Thursday, not Friday, um, which Thursday doesn't really help us at all. So who knows when I'm going to get the new Legends, guys. Um, we will probably still hit up uh, Toys R Us Friday. All right, so I got Secret Invasion cover going here. You guys can't really see it, though. There it is, really. Um, now, as you can tell, this is not in my detail. Um, I was gonna do it in my detail, but the way I've got it, the paper has to be like folded in like a rounded way in the back, so um, I wouldn't have been able to fit them all and have enough room for the camera. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be a cover style shot. I'll show you right now. All right, now I know it's a little bit cut off here. Um, but while I was here, I just wanted to talk about um, these Hasbro figures that are starting to come out. I mean, um, first of all, they're giving us out some good figures, um, which is always a plus, getting figures that are actually decent. Uh -huh. um, it's a plus when it comes to Hasbro especially. 
Um, but not to mention, they're giving us characters that are like newer characters, more important characters, characters that we've been wanting for years. Um, here are some examples right here. I mean, I got Series 8 Iron Man up in here, but I mean, the extremist, or the extremist is really what's supposed to be up there. I just don't have him right now. I don't have him yet. Um, but they did give us that option. Um, the extremist armor Iron Man, um, has been used in the comics for years. I mean, he just recently stopped using it, um, as far as I know. Uh, not huge on Iron Man. I'm not huge on a lot of these Avengers characters. I just like kind of the Avengers as a whole. In fact, I'm not even really big on the main Avengers title. I like new Avengers, though. They're cool. Um, but anyway, moving on. They gave us this modern Thor, and I mean, he's been wearing that costume for years. I'm really happy to see that, though. I mean, we needed a modern Thor. The select one people have been using, but I mean, I I almost bought it um, about three or four months back. Just because I really wanted to get him some modern displays. But I was like, you know what? Nope. I'm going to wait. Marvel Legends one's coming out. I'm going to wait. So, I mean, I did wait, and we got this Beast figure. Um, but, I mean, he's a very modern character. I mean, you could still use him for current displays. You'd be reading an Avengers comic book right now. Look at it. See Thor. Stop. Do a display with him. <clears throat> That's always nice. And then Bucky Cap, I mean, he's been... He's not really in the comics currently, but he was there for a lot of major events. Um, I mean, the whole the Secret Invasion, um, Dark Reign, uh, some stuff after that. Not a lot of stuff, but uh, I'm really happy to get this Bucky Cap, especially. Um, this is a character that I've been wanting for a while. Um, I do like the character Bucky Cap as a whole. Um, but I just like how Hasbro's giving us some more modern characters that are coming out they've come out more recently and stuff like that I mean they gave us the Hope Summers she's a fairly new character last uh, I'd probably give like last eight seven or eight years maybe I don't even know I'm just kinda guessing maybe five years I don't know but as in a as like a teenager past year or two maybe um, so it's nice to get her um, Constrictor I mean he's an old school character but he's been doing some stuff more recently like in Dark Reign he played a role in that um, who else are we getting? We're getting Phantom X in his X-Force outfit. That's cool. I mean, that's modern. We get Dakin in his Dark Avengers outfit. That's awesome. I mean, that's modern, obviously. And I'm super happy for that one. I can't wait for that one. Um, who else are we getting? Drax in his modern costume? I don't really care about Drax, but I mean, um, from what I can tell, he's still wearing that costume from what I hear. Um... But yeah, I just love how they're giving us some modern characters and their modern outfits and stuff like that. And I mean, obviously they have to put in like a Captain America and a Thor and stuff like that and a Spider-Man because that just helps the line sell. If they put in a roster of a wave where it's characters of the same caliber as Claw, do you really think anyone's going to buy them other than collectors? Like, the collectors will buy them because the collectors want these characters. They want more and more characters. But the people that are just walking around, they look into the aisle, they're like, oh, what do you know? Look, it's Iron Man. I saw the Iron Man movie. This guy looks cool. Let me buy him. I saw the Captain America movie. This guy looks cool. Let me buy him. Same with Thor. Same with Spider-Man. All these headline characters they'll put in because people buy them other than collectors. Um, but it's nice to get some of those uh, more old school obscure characters that you wouldn't expect, such as Claw. And I would even go along the lines to say Constrictor. Um, so, yeah. Alright, and I did just go through that box again that I got the package from for Secret Santa. And he did include this uh, Spider-Man key ring. I thought I'd uh, show you guys this. Just in case he's watching. He's like, oh no, we didn't get it. Um, but yeah, this was a nice touch. Spider-Man is one of my favorite characters, if you guys don't know. So, uh, that's cool. Just a quick little shot. Um... For those of you that don't know, whenever I get a character who I'm, like, kind of familiar with but not super familiar with, a lot of times I like to go onto um, their Wikipedia pages. Because normally people don't really mess with theirs. Um, and just check out, like, first appearance, significant situations they've been in and stuff like that. Like, I mean, what I know Constrictor most from is uh, Siege and Dark Reign and whatnot. Um, so I went back and I found out that his first appearance is actually... Um, I don't remember what issue it is, but it's in some Hulk, uh, comic book. 
um, which I thought was very interesting. This is another cool character to come out of a Hulk comic. I mean, Wolverine, we got Constrictor now. There's probably more that I just don't know about. Um, but yeah, I do think Constrictor is a cool character. I did read up on him. Um, he's kind of got like a Deadpool effect going, just not as crazy. In the sense where like he was a real person, but then he went undercover. to. He was like, he was like a good guy. and I, Yeah, he was working for S.H.I.E.L.D. in fact. And um, he went un undercover for S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, like as a bad guy. Whoops, my bad. Um, as a bad guy. Um, and then like he accidentally went crazy or he had like a breakdown or something. And now he actually thinks he's that person. Just like what happened to Deadpool. So um, yeah, cool character though. If you guys don't know much about him, look up Wikipedia page. Cool character. I mean, you know, I just gotta do some secret invasion stuff. Um, damn, I really need more scrolls. I really want more scrolls, and I want to do a big. I mean, I don't want a lot of scrolls because I know that's gonna get really pricey really fast. Um, maybe like five scrolls, maybe. Also, maybe get some select scrolls. I don't know. But I'm thinking at least five. Try and do just like some small stuff, you know. I think it'd be cool. New Avengers, kinda. I don't know. I can try and add in some more people. I'll see. Alright, so I added Wolverine and Miss Marvel. Um, for the New Avengers team from this time period, um, only one I'm missing is Modern Luke Cage, Ronan, and... Uh, who was it? Someone that they haven't made yet. I think it was Mockingbird. Um, I didn't really read New Avengers during this time. I didn't read any of uh, Secret Invasion. Um, except for uh, the actual book, X-Men Secret Invasion. That was really good. I really liked how they uh, took care of things in that. Um, but yeah. New Avengers is one of my favorite uh, Avengers teams that there ever was. So I think it's a good team. I like Luke Cage as the leader. If you guys have never seen this show, you definitely need to. This is uh, Wolverine and the X-Men. came out a couple years ago, um, 2008 to be exact. It, I'm pretty sure it was on Disney Channel or something like that. Um, either that or Nickelodeon, Nicktoons maybe. Um, but I just watched this entire... They only made one season of it, um, and it's, uh, I think, 26 episodes. I just watched all 26 episodes in the past, uh, I'd say a little bit more than 24 hours. Actually, I started on Friday, and right now it's Sunday. Um, but these, This is a great show. I wasn't expecting a lot out of it. I was bored. I was going to watch um, the original X-Men TV show from the 80s. Or actually from the 90s. Um, but I saw this, and I was like, eh, this only has 26 episodes. Let me give it a try, see how it is. Because that other one's got, like, I think over 100, maybe. Um... But this was a great, great, great show. And I really wish that uh, they picked it up for another season. Because, I mean, it was amazing. You guys definitely need to check it out. Um, I don't want to give too much away. But uh, it was just really good. You guys definitely need to check it out. Just shot, like, literally ten takes for uh, Hey, Shane Miller's contest. Um, this is all I'm really going to show you. I don't want to give it away. But the video will probably be up a couple days after PMP goes up. Alright guys, so this has been another episode of ACBA Practice Makes Perfect. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, it was a decent week for me. I was really happy to get that buggy cap. Um, did some po did quite a bit of posing with him, um, as you guys saw. Uh, and then also I did, as you saw, um, do my entry to Shane Miller's contest. That is still running for, a, I think, till the 18th, I want to say. Um, I'll put the real info, or, like, the real date, it's, uh, closed, and, uh, link in the description. Um, and you could expect my entry for that to be up within the next day or so, maybe two days. Um, 
But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Right here, I just got my Giant Man bath. Um, but yeah, anyway, hope you guys liked it. Peace.